when the cystic fibrosis gene was discovered in 1989, that was the first gene that was discovered where we didn't know what the gene made. We didn't know what the uh, gene product was. We didn't, we didn't know, we hadn't identified the protein. And so that was the first example of a gene being discovered without knowing uh, what the protein was. Um, now, uh, thousands of genes have been identified um, using techniques that, that are similar to, to the techniques used in cystic fibrosis. But at the time, it was very exciting, and there was a big buzz in the scientific world. And, and, and really, from that, people looked at the potential of, of, well, now we've identified the abnormal gene, why can't we replace it with a normal gene? And very quickly, scientists were able to make the normal cystic fibrosis gene in the laboratory. It was quite challenging to start with, but, but, but they were able to make normal copies of the cystic fibrosis gene. So very quickly, uh, scientists said, well, here we have a potential therapy for people with cystic fibrosis.